So it's Jeremy Bowers over here at Coal Bank Preferred. What does that lot have to do with your Facebook advertising, your direct mail campaign, and your marketing approach? The question I'd have is, what are you gonna do differently in 2017 and what worked in 2016 um, on that business? And what I found is, the people who do really well, they target. They target who they're focusing on. Facebook is a whole different world on how you can target. Just like finding this lot, you can target this. Do you have someone walking and building a list of lots that are available so you can do the research, have someone else do the research and contact those people to get that deal? Or B, are you physically finding these and putting a list together and finding the owners? What I find is some people is they do direct mail and they just mail everybody. That works great, but typically the return is 3%. So you can spend a lot of money, $1,000, $2,000 a month to get returns. My question is, why don't we get specific and focus on the exact thing that you're looking for? And I'll give you an example. Facebook advertising. Are you aware that you can do a Facebook target ad in a certain area, certain um, situation, and focus on that group of people that you would want to uh, affiliate with or be a part of and do an ad? That's one way. Another way is you can just boost it and boost it to certain parameters also. Facebook right now is a whole different world on lead generation for the real estate world and in a lot of other businesses too. After Facebook, you got ad roll. So once they actually go to your stuff, then it follows them and takes you to all the different other sites. That's another world, ad roll, check it out. The third one is actually doing direct mail marketing and sending it to everybody, called blanketing, I call it. What I'd rather see more people be doing is focus on exactly what you're looking for, doing that research, paying someone to do that research, spending less money, but hitting them more times. I heard an interesting stat the other day. When do most salespeople give up the real estate game of following up? One time. Most transactions, most big business is done, they tell me in this, uh, when I was reading the other day and talking to this person, seven to nine times. I would agree. I look at the, some people that we've recruited over the years and we've partnered up with and it took a while to partner with them or I got them at the right time or looking at myself or looking at real estate investors. It's just not like this, overnight you get that person, right? It's how many times they say no. There's a book um, that's called, you know, go for no or say yes. There's another book, say yes. So it, you know, those types of books talk about it. No, 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 no. Keep on building a value, keep on building a value, you'll find it. Same thing in this world. If you can focus on specifics and if you get the no's, just keep on going back until you get the yes. Many, there's a lot of money. This lot right here, I mean, it's two lots. I mean, this is probably $200,000 right here, sitting there, 200 Gs. Target marketing, specific. If you wanna talk specifics with me in 2017, I will share with different ways you can be more specific, more results, and better targeting and what we're doing crazy crazy numbers nationwide right now with agents growing their business it's coming beware 2017 we're coming again harder we crush it in 16 we're coming in 17. 215-370-9107 jeremy bowers over here at coldwell banker take a look at me on facebook or youtube and you'll see on youtube i probably have over 100 videos of free training have a great day